What a marvelous catch! That's a marvelous shot! They're a marvelous crowd, the Victorians! Come on, fellas, let's kick it! We're the Coventry team, and we call the game. It's marvelous! Yes, everything's marvelous! Because it's marvelous! Hi, Internet. Uh, my name is Scott, and this is my review of the Australian Sports Party. I am currently reviewing all of the political parties in the country. We have 54 of them, and we have uh, the 2013 federal election, and that's only a few days away, really. So I'm reviewing all of the parties. I've been uh, researching them for months, and this is, uh, I guess, a culmination of that work. And this is uh, a little bit of info I have on the Australian Sports Party. Um, okay, so the party was founded um, in 2013. They're a minute party, and they have the largest presences in Western Australia. Um, and the party have a really uh, simple and it seems to me a really innocent vision. Um, I'll quote it. So it's, quote, For every Australian to be involved in sport and recreation to assist in a healthy and enjoyable lifestyle in a strong community. End quote. Um... That's them in a nutshell. Um, no more, no less. Um, it's a party that's, again, very, very much in its infancy. They're just taking off. They've only got a few candidates, um, and they have basically no policies outside of sports and recreation. So I guess you'd call them a one-issue party. And for that matter, they're, I guess they're libertarian. There's nothing conservative about uh, what they want. Um they have uh, very little web presence, and they don't have a lot of media coverage, and they don't have a Wikipedia page. Um, the party is uh, is led by, now I hope I pronounce this correctly, uh, Wayne Drupalich. It could be Drupalik. Um, I'm sure some people will know him because he's, uh, he's a former Gridiron representative for Australia. He's played uh, Gridiron at a very, very high level, um, and, and it was his career for some time. So... Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I've got on them. I, I did read that there was an interview that, that I think Wayne did with Yahoo 7, um, and the party stated that uh, issues like high public liability insurance and uh, a lack of sporting grounds are hurdles to uh, sports partic participation rates. Um, that's... Um, that's all that I could really uh, find on the Australian Sports Party. Again, it, they seem like a Innocent is the word that came to mind. They really seem like an innocent, minute party. Uh, again, very new to the political scene. I'm sure they'll only grow. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, um, if you want to find out more information, feel free to check out their website, which is in the comments to this video. And I'll, uh, if you enjoy it, feel free to like and feel free to share, and I'll see you at my next party review really soon. Yes, indeed, it really is a marvellous effort, that. My name is Richie, and I'm the king. I'm the king commentator, I'm the number one thing, but I'm a singer, too, and I'm a jammer. And that's when I become MCG Hammer, and I feel a solo coming on, Bill. Do it, Richie. Yeah. Give it to me hard and fast, Rich. You got a turn. <laughs>